Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. We get questions all the time from customers asking us how they can get their seven pole to work with different style connectors. What we're gonna look at today is from Hopkins and this is a seven pole to four pole adapter. So this is gonna plug right into our seven pole. It's gonna give us the functions we need for a regular four pole plug. Basically what that means is that we can run a four pole trailer connector just like this through our seven pole plug by using this adapter. This is gonna eliminate the need for us to modify our vehicle's wiring, add a separate four pole onto it. And it's also gonna reduce the need for us to replace the plug on our trailer and switch it over to a, like a seven pole round or something like that. They plug in really nice and easy. There's a couple things that make this one a little bit different than what we're used to out of these adapters. One's gonna be the lights that we see here. This is gonna give us signals and indicate to us that our running lights are working, our left turn and brake are working, and our right turn and brake are working. So if we hook up to our trailer, plug it into our truck, and the lights on our trailer aren't working, as long as these lights are working, we know it's not our truck, it eliminates 50% of the possible problem, and we can do the work on our trailer that we need to. Something else that I like that we don't always see on the adapter, some of them have them, some of them don't, but that's gonna be a cover. It's gonna go over and protect our connection. Now, you could leave this installed in the back of your truck if you don't use your seven pole, but I recommend taking it out, throwing it in the glove box, something like that. We always recommend using dielectric grease, but if you're gonna leave it installed, I highly recommend it. Basically, we're gonna put that on both sides of our plug. It's gonna prevent moisture from getting in. If we can prevent moisture, we prevent dirt from being built up in there. And if we don't have moisture, if we don't have dirt, we're not going to have corrosion. Corrosion on our prongs on both sides can lead to a lot of lighting failures on our trailer. Using a little bit of grease, keeping it on there, it's going to prevent most of that. Now as far as installation, just going to lift up our cover. Then we're going to slide in our plug, just like that. At that point, we're going to take our four pole, plug it in like that, we're going to be ready to head down the road. As you can see, that's a really quick and easy solution to a common problem. Now to show you how the indicator lights of the LED lights on there are going to work, we'll turn on our headlights, you'll see the light come on, so we've got our left turn signal, our right turn signal, and then they'll both come on for our brakes. Now, I really like this adapter. It's more compact than some of the other ones I see, and I also like that it has the cover and it have the, has the lights. If I was looking for a four pole only option, I'd definitely choose that one. If you wanted to upgrade that slightly and have some more adaptability available, I might go with like 78118. That's going to be a seven pole to a five pole adapter. That fifth pole can be important if you want to run reverse lights on your trailer so when you hit reverse in your truck the lights come on in the trailer you can see where you're going or in a marine application not really like this but some of them have a surge coupler here in the front that surge coupler is it squeezes applies brakes on the trailer so in that application if you back up without an electric lockout or a manual lockout the trailer won't go the brakes will be applied so you can also use that fifth pole for your electric lockout so when you hit reverse, your trailer will back up. But outside of that, I think this would be an excellent decision. As far as how it's made, how it fits together in the fit and finish, Hopkins has done a really good job on all the seams. There's no gaps, there's no cracks, really no over mold on the plastic. You can tell they've really taken their time to make a very good product. 